Welcome back to Casey Sunrise on your Thursday morning. California citrus remains a nearly $2 billion industry here in the Golden State, but one tiny insect continues to pose a threat to the entire crop across the Golden State, and the bug continues to spread to parts of California. It's not here now, but it could be. So let's talk more about it and how this pest can be dealt with. Joining us here is Citrus Research Board President Ted Batkin and, of course, Valley Citrus Grower Nick Hill. Gentlemen, good morning. Ted, we're going to start with you. First off, the name of this insect and just give us a little background about it and how did it get here. Okay, it's called the Asian Citrus Psyllid and it's a little tiny pest about the size of an aphid that you might find on a rose bush. And it came into California uh, coming up through Mexico. Uh, it's been very large populations in Florida and the east part of the United States, but has moved into California over the last couple of years. All right, it's not here yet, but Nick, when you hear something about this, how it's decimating some crops down in Southern California of citrus, as a citrus grower yourself, what are your main concerns with it? Well, the, the, the citrus psyllid carries a disease called Hong Long Bean, we, HLB. That disease is the most devastating citrus disease known in the world. It's in China, it's in uh, uh, South Africa, it's in South America. We don't want the citrus psyllid, to, which carries this disease, to get up into the valley and it'll, it'll completely destroy the industry as we know it. It's in Florida and probably wiped out half the crop so far in Florida. So the idea is to keep the citrid suppressed and controlled down the LA area so that we don't get that, that disease carrying bug up here. And it's important to mention it's not here yet. So Ted, what can we do or what is being done? Can you do advanced spraying for it or is it just more staying alert, staying aware and just checking anything that's coming up from down south? Well, there's several things that we have in place. We have a trapping program, a detection program throughout the San Joaquin Valley to look for the population should they get here rapidly. The main message though that we're asking people in the San Joaquin Valley not to purchase trees uh, like for to pack in their in their homeowners uh, in their backyards not to purchase trees in Southern California and transport them up here into the central San Joaquin Valley. Nick for the folks sitting at home saying okay I don't have any citrus trees in my backyard and you know I don't know anyone in the citrus industry but as someone that makes a living in it if it affects the Valley citrus industry that has widespread ramifications for everyone doesn't it? Yeah, the agricultural dollar starts with the grower, and that dollar's turned over and turned over in the economy. Back when we had citrus freezes, some of these small communities in the valley went to 80 and 90 cent percent unemployment. The, the citrus industry is a huge industry. It's, it's billions and billions of dollars. Uh, we are you know, a big contributor to the economy, and we're a big employer. Um, you know, and, and it's my livelihood too. So, you know, we don't, we don't want to see what's happened in Florida where the industry has just been put on, you know, their heels trying to combat something that, that they got started. They didn't take steps to be aggressive in stopping it and now it's out of control. California citrus growers have taken this on their hands. They have raised money. We're paying for programs for suppression and control of this and public outreach to tell the people in, in the cities and the towns that this is a real thing, a real disease, and that we want to stop it before it gets to us. Important to be proactive. Exactly. Nick, Ted, gentlemen, thank you for coming in. We're also going to have more on this, of course, pictures and where you can go for more information on our website, kc24.com. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in this morning.